Superman here with my new toy. This is a Mr. Cade, which is basically a JAMA edge connector for a Mr. FPGA system. These are used to put a Mr. into an arcade cabinet. They're sold by MrAddons.com and they're basically kind of a big single board that replaces both the uh, the I.O. board and the USB hub board of a standard uh, Mr. system here. Now this video is mostly about how to get a clean direct recording off of one because there are some Mr. Cade specific gotchas on that. Uh, check out the chapters and skip around if you'd like to just see it in action first, maybe if you're considering buying one or whatever. So first up is at my actual recording solution, and for that I've chosen this Evermedia Live Gamer Portable 2. This is a very inexpensive way of recording 1080p 60 video off of uh, HDMI here. It's USB powered, which is really helpful because we've got tons of those now in the cabinet. And uh, it's capable of recording tethered via USB 2.0 or untethered so you just hit the button to start recording and it records then onto its uh, micro SD card. So that's all pretty handy. Um, running it tethered is going to get you slightly higher quality and it's going to allow you to do things like stream based on whatever PC you hook it up to. So uh, yeah, let's get this thing hooked up here. Now since this is a mister, we still have our DE10 Nano down here. So we'll go ahead and we'll plug the HDMI cable into that. Oop. And then we'll plug that into the HDMI in over here. And then we will get, plop this thing down. We'll power it by using this handy USB port right over here. And we will get it on and then we will see immediately our first problem. So our first problem is that when you first boot up a Mr. Cade system, it is not going to be able to sync. There's a menu scale uh, kind of line in the Mr. Cade's Mr.ini file, and basically when you comment that line, it'll work with an HDMI screen, and when you uncomment that line, it'll work down with your JAMA cabinet, and there's really no mixing on it, unfortunately, unless somebody supplies a, a little bit better line here. So the image you're seeing up on screen is actually from this Mr. over here, not from the actual Mr. Cade, because I'm not uncommenting that line. We'll um, actually have a look at this sync when we get downstairs, but trust me when I say once you get into a game, this thing is not going to be red anymore. It'll sync up and it'll show it'll show uh, blue and allow you to uh, record just fine off of it. It's really only the intro screen that has the trouble. The next snag that you're going to encounter, though, is that there's actually no digital audio out anymore. Because when you put the DE10 Nano into the Mr. Cade, you probably flip this switch here. And what that does is it's going to disable the audio out of HDMI. But luckily, the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 here actually has whoop, actually has a uh, analog audio in. And this is supposed to be for recording headset activity and stuff like that off of a Xbox 360 or something because it's of that era. Now one thing to remember about these uh, analog audio outs, there's a switch on this board that allows you to either output line level audio out of all of the audio outs, the JAMA, the two RCAs up here, and uh, the uh, 3.5 jack. However, my cabinet doesn't have its own audio amplifier, so I have to use the one on the board, which means that this is actually not line audio, so you're going to have to play with volumes on your recordings and stuff like that. But there's one other problem, and that's that I had encountered some interference on this. It sounded a little bit like the Jetsons car, actually, and I'm sure I'm piping some of that into the video right now. It's uh, really aggravating. I tried to solve it with uh, ferrite chokes. Uh, then I got this double shielded cable that didn't solve it. I tried cleaning up the USB power source thinking it might be interference off of USB. It was not. It's actually uh, off of the audio amplifier circuitry in there or something. So what I did is I purchased myself one of these super cheap ground loop isolators and you would just kind of plug that in there and then it all goes away. Now, whatever you do, do not tell the audio files in the room because they absolutely hate these things. However, I think it sounds a lot better and there's nothing that this is going to do that is going to be any worse than the like 2 watt monophonic uh, 4 inch speaker out of my arcade cabinet. So, uh, arcade sound is not known for being super awesome in the first place. 
So yeah, that's that's kind of how you record off of this. One final tip though, if you're used to the uh, the HDMI screen, then you've maybe played around with the kind of vertical integer scale with the uh, with the cropping functions, the 5x crop. Do not ever use a 5x crop on the uh, the Mr. Cade board because it actually crops those lines off of the um, analog output as well. So yeah, don't do that. Just just run with a normal scale like this and. Uh, uh, make the make the people on YouTube deal with the quality drop there. <laughs> All right, so let's get this thing down to the cabinet and have another look at it. Okay, so as you can see, we're down here at my arcade cabinet. I've got the Mr. Cade kind of propped up on the old Neo Geo here, and I've got the old Avermedia recorder device down here. As you can see, we're at the Mr. Menu, which means that this thing is red and cannot record. Let's go ahead and get into a game here. One thing that this does remind me to point out is whichever stick gets touched first, that becomes player one. So because of that, I think this setup is maybe a little bit too fragile to ever be used commercially. So because I touched this stick first, it is now stick one. If I would have touched or coined into this one, this one would become stick one, and that would just be confusing as all get out. So let's go into arcade. Let's go down to 1944, the Loop Master. That is a, a fairly uh, nice horizontal shmup here by Capcom. And as you can see, this thing is already synced up with the video on that, which means we can record basically at any time here. But uh, yeah, we're going to wait until something comes up on screen. Then I'm going to hit the button and shut up for a minute here. Come on. Okay, and that's how that's going to work. Uh, there will be some more examples at the end of this video for how this is going. And uh, so far, yeah, I am really enjoying my Mr. Cade system. I had hoped that this would be better, like, commercially, because I've seen a lot of uh, fake arcades pop up lately, uh, kind of um, the, like Blue Elf or uh, what a Pandora Box arcades. And um, I just find it hard to put money into those but if there were a mister in there i don't think i'd hesitate as much but unfortunately um in its current state i don't think it can ever do that um but yeah it's it's great fun here in the home environment and i i hope to get a whole lot of uh decent footage off of this arcade setup and this has kind of uh revitalized my love for this old cabinet because uh, in terms of neo geo i had already moved on to uh, consoleized systems via the frame meister and all that stuff but this has me now down in front of a cabinet and i'm not just playing the arcade games um i'm actually playing a lot of console ports of the arcade games and the reason for that is i've got a horizontal monitor and a lot of the shmups are vertical of course and then there's a lot of games like uh like like virtual racing or um Ridge Racer that uh, really need like an analog wheel set up, that kind of thing, but the home ports are actually all set up for using digital controls, which is good because that's what I've got right here, a digital control. So I've been, I've been enjoying the home ports of certain arcade games on this thing, and I've just been having a blast. Anyway, I'm going to uh, stop talking for a while, and I'm going to show some footage of this thing in action for the rest of the video. So uh, enjoy, everybody. Reaper Man out.